I'm gonna help you, officer. Are you Mr. Ferdinand Clarks? Yes, I am. Great. I'm Detective Lenz, and you're under arrest for sexual assault and rape charges filed by Miss Victoria. Whoa, 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 hold up, wait a minute. Sir, I'm just gonna ask you to put your arm behind your back. No, sir, I want my lawyer. Sir, this is crazy. I'm not resisting, okay? Oh. I'm gonna have to use excessive force. Just keep your hands behind your back. Oh, Don't oh. make me do it. Oh, okay, okay, I'm not resisting. Easy, officer. Detective. Okay, detective. I'm sorry. Seems like there's a, little, there's a little mistake here. Yeah, I'm sure there is. When you get to the court, you can explain that to the judge, okay? Uh, yes. Yes, detective. All right, Mr. Ferdinand Clark, you're under arrest and you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used in a court of law against you. You have the right to attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Is that understood? Yes. Great. Let's go. So tell me, did you rape her? I need an attorney. I know my rights and you can't scare me. <laughs> I'm sure you're the tough guy. What are we looking at? 10, 20 years in jail? Huh? It's not until we're proven guilty though. The savior has arrived. Hey, attorney Garcia. Hello, detective. I'm here for my client. Could you please uncuff him? He's all yours. Thank you. She thought you need with jail. Don't worry about her. I don't really care what you say. That woman is crazy. I need to get out of here. Calm down, Mr. Ferdinand. I will need you to tell me exactly what happened, word for word. Because she's already suing you for rape charges and asking for justice. I didn't rape her. We were making out and she changed her mind and tried to convince her to stay. This is Detective Lenz from the Southwest Precinct. How are you doing today? I'm all right, Detective. Great. Look, I'm handling your case with uh, Ferdinand Clarks, and I'm calling you to give you an update that he has been arrested and a court date has been set. So your lawyer should be contacting you with the details. Okay. Thank you for that information. No problem. Look, if you have any questions, feel free to call me, okay? Okay. Great. Look, you have a good day and you have a safe day. Thanks. Court is now in session. People may be seated. Will the defense please rise? Mr. Clarks, you stand accused of the crimes of rape, assault, mental, physical, and sexual abuse. How do you plead? I, I, I don't understand. Did you or did you not commit these crimes against Miss Victoria? I'm not a rapist. I didn't rape or abuse anybody. Then you plead not guilty? Yes. Very well then. Prosecution. Call your first witness. 
Thank you, Your Honor. The state calls Mrs. Victoria Hills to the stand. Miss Hills, please approach the bench and put your right hand up. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Please have a seat in the witness box. Please speak up so the jury can hear you. State, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Hills, could you please tell the Honorable Court exactly what happened the night of June 20th when you were with Mr. Clark? Ferdy and I have known each other for a while. On the night of June 20th, we were at his house watching a movie. <laughs> Dude, look at his head. A normal size head should not be that big. Oh look God. at his wardrobe. Oh my God, terrible. Look at that choice. Oh my God, what are you doing with those shoes, bro? <laughs> awful, awful. You all right? Mm-hmm. I'm all right. And you? Yeah, I'm just, um... You just look so beautiful and tempting. Aw, you're so sweet. Let's go now. No, hey, there's not the movie. Forget about the movie. <laughs> we began kissing, got a little intimate in his bedroom. I didn't feel comfortable continuing. Did you ask him to stop? I asked him to stop. He insisted. So what did he do? He tore my panties and took them off and tried to force himself down on me. Hmm. And while he was doing that, what happened next? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, no, this no, is no, too fast. No, no, baby, it's just making out, nothing more. <sighs> mm -mm. Look, 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 it's just making out, nothing more. Mm -hmm. No, this is too fast, it'll be too fast. <laughs> well, damn girl, look at you. You look so damn good. How can you come here looking like that and not think nothing was gonna happen? <laughs> What were you expecting? Bible study? <laughs> um, I don't know. A good time for us to talk, you know, get to know each other better, watch a movie. Right, and that is what we're trying to do now, baby. Just lay down. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Give me a moment to get comfortable and relax. Oh, you're thinking with your clothes. Right. Stop. I don't want to do this anymore. No, the beach is rough. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Thank you. I passed the witness, Sean. Thank you, counsel. Defense. The witness yours. May I proceed, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Thank you, Your Honor. Miss Vicky, in your testimony, you suggested to go to his place, and I quote, chill. Is this correct? Yes. And based on your statement, you initiated the kissing. Is that correct? Yes, but... Did he force himself on you? No. How long have you known him? Six years now, since college. Did you both have sex while in college? <laughs> Objection. Objection, Your Honor. Information isn't relevant. Objection sustained. Counsel, straight to the point. Yes, Your Honor. Is it true you accepted to go to my client's house at night? Yes. Could you have gone to the movies or a restaurant? I, I, I suppose, but... Well, in my client's living room, did you refuse when my client carried you to his room? No. And you would agree that you initiated the kissing again in his room, right? I suppose. Is it true 
prove that you and my client were drinking alcoholic beverages that night? So you would agree that alcohol played a role in both your and my client's behavior that night, yes? <laughs> yes, but that doesn't give him a right to force himself on me. <laughs> no further questions, Your Honor. Any questions from the prosecution? No, Your Honor. The state rests. Very well. Does the defense wish to open? Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Call your first witness. Defense calls Mr. Ferdinand Clark. Mr. Clark, please approach the bench. Put your right hand up. Do you swear to tell the truth? The whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Please have a seat in the witness box and speak up so my jury can hear you. <laughs> Defense, you may proceed. Uh, wait, you know what? We're gonna take a recess, readjourn, and be back at 12 p.m. Good afternoon and welcome to the News in Brief with Susan J. Serving you the hottest and the most leading news of the hour. Your news, my business. For the headlines, as the state government continues to gradually reopen the American economy, the state health director still advises the public to keep wearing their mask and maintain a social distance, even as the stay-at-home order expires. On the local crime news report, a 35-year-old Ferdinand Clarks has been arrested and charged with sexual assault and rape by a female named Victoria Hills. Information reaching us states that the case is currently in motion at the Ford County Justice Center and Judge Gary Jakes is the presiding judge for the case. More details to come as we follow up on the case. Now on to Shannon for the weekly weather report. Defense, please proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Ferdinand, can you tell the judge in the honorable court how you met Ms. Hills? Vicky and I attended the same college and did have a history. Then after college, we lost all contact until we met at a mutual friend's wedding party. How long has that been? Over six months plus, I believe. You came to pick up Vicky and took her to your house. Right, as she suggested. Can you tell us what happened? She was at my place chilling, drinking some wine and some other liquor, just watching a movie. Then suddenly she leaned and came closer towards my chest. Got a little bit intimate to what I could remember. And what happened next? I couldn't really remember much. I remember we both made out and I carried to the bedroom, which she didn't resist. I couldn't really control what's happening, being that we were both drunk and she initiated it without being forced. You don't remember forcing her or she telling you no? Not that I can recall, no. How did she dress? She was really sexy and hot looking too. Could you be a bit more specific? She had a very sexy and seductive outfit. She had all the right signs she was ready to get water for that night. Then have me come over she was definitely into me. Thank you, Mr. Ferdinand. I pass the witness, Your Honor. State. The witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Clark. I have a few questions for you, if you don't mind, sir. Did you say you didn't remember what happened in the room that night? Yes, I didn't. So, you don't remember uh, taking your clothes off or taking her clothes off? That I can't really recall. 
Mm. I can't recall. But what about any words that were said? Uh, her telling you to hold on, maybe? Perhaps she wasn't ready? Something like that. Objection! Your Honor, he said he didn't remember. I believe my colleague is badgering the witness. Sustain! Very well. Mr. Clark, do you recall anything strange going on with your eyes that night? I don't know. I was drunk. I couldn't really recall. So, you don't remember ever being pepper sprayed? Is that correct? Now that, I can recall. Oh, right. I'm sure you can. <laughs> During your testimony, you explained how she was dressed. You said uh, she had a seducing outfit on? Hmm. Could that have been a reason why you maybe wanted to get involved with her sexually? Um, how do you mean? How do I mean? In other words, do you think her looks might have motivated your actions, so to speak? Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. Counsel, watch your questions. Very well. How did Miss Vicky get home that night? I don't know. I was drunk and under the influence of alcohol. Right, drunk. Of course. Did you at least give her a call the next day? Check on? Mr. Clark? Um... Not really. Not really? What does that mean, not really? What's the answer? Not really or no? No. Very well. Thank you, Mr. Clark. No further questions, John. Thank you, counsel. Defense! Do you have any other questions? No further questions, Your Honor. All right. Any other witnesses? No, Your Honor. Defense rests. All right, State. You may make your closing statements. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it is obvious that the elements of the crime of rape and sexual assault have been met. The defendant took full advantage of Miss Vicky without her consent. Now the crime itself of sexual assault are motivated by the need to control, to humiliate, and ultimately to harm an individual. Unsurprisingly here, Mr. Clark chose to lure her to his private home rather than be with her in public, increasing his chances of any action. But, however, Miss Vicky survived the attack. In fact, she happens to be the one out of three women in the U.S. that survive sexual abuse throughout their lives. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, remember that just because there was no fight against the defendant doesn't mean that Miss Vicky consented. It simply means that she was taken advantage of. She was overpowered, subdued. Now, She's most likely to suffer from profound and prolonged negative effects due to this man's crime. Now, it is your duty and it is your obligation to find this defendant guilty and have him paid for what he did. This has been a case of nothing but accusations, assumptions, to the action that was committed that night. I can say for everyone in this courtroom that Mrs. Vicky was raped. And no man or no woman should be taken advantage of because of their looks. We all have a right to wear whatever feels comfortable to us. And rape should never be the fault of that. Which is clearly what Mr. Clark is arguing 
to go along with the fact that he drank too much, can't remember a single thing. Now it's up to you, the jury, to serve it. Justice. Thank you. Uh, all right, defense. You may proceed with your closing. Thank you, Your Honor. In cases like this, the female gender is given much more deference than the male gender. People tend to believe that the male raped the female without giving further thought to any of the circumstantial evidence. Lives are ruined because what started out as a casual outing turns into accusations of rape. Ladies and gentlemen, all the signs were there. The sexy dress, the red lipstick, the deep kissing, the uncontested move from the living room to the bedroom. What more could have screamed, I want to have sex with you? Consider the possibility that this might be a case of love gone wrong. And this is simply a retaliatory accusation. As jury members, it is your civic duty to look critically into this case without any sentiment. You will understand that this is a case of defamation of character. The truth is, the vast majority of sexual assault cases are rooted in pure fact. This case does not even come close. The fact that false rape allegations are rare doesn't make them any less harmful to the people that stand accused. Please understand the seriousness of these charges and the importance of questioning their accuracy. There is not enough evidence here. And as such, it is your job to declare my client not guilty. Thank you. All right, everyone. This court's going to adjourn till next week, Friday, 10 a.m. So, how are we holding up? I don't know. It doesn't look like we're going to win the case. Why do you say that? Because it's obvious. Everyone's trying to blame me for my appearance and initiating something. Like, I don't have the right as a human myself to wear what I want to wear. It's my body, my rules. Well, you know, you shouldn't feel that way. As a matter of fact, don't feel that way. You know why? Because it's not true. Hmm? Now, you should understand that the law doesn't work like that. It doesn't work based off sentiments and, and gender. It's about facts. That's why we're here. Hmm? Now, we're in good hands, I promise you. I told you that I was going to try my absolute best to fight for you. Not only you, but every woman out there who, who experienced something similar to you. Or worse. Now, based off your story, this was wrong. And he's going to pay. Guarantee it. You know, you're very brave, Miss Vicky. You're very brave for this, for pursuing this, because lots of women would just be silent. But they would suffer in that silence. Now, you are doing every woman a favor right now. You're standing up for every woman all over the world who've endured what you've endured. This isn't right. You and I both know it's not right. Are you sure? Should we just let it go? What? I mean, he technically didn't rape me. Let it go? Miss Vicky. Okay, 
I'm going to be frank with you here, okay? Just because this guy didn't ride that roller coaster, you know, just because he didn't do that, it doesn't mean he didn't assault you. Right? We've come way too far to just back down now. I tell you, listen, you will get the justice you deserve. Make sure of that. I'm just exhausted. Tired of looking stupid and being mocked by your colleagues and the jury. I mean, a girl shouldn't be judged based on her appearance. Enough is enough. Exactly. Stop should mean stop. Yes, yes, absolutely. I agree with you 100%. And that is why we are here. Justice. Bottom line is this. Rape is rape. That should never be taken for granted. Okay? All right. Listen, we got information about a witness to testify against you, about you forcing her in the past. Do you have history I need to know about? And who is that? I can't even remember the things I did last night, let, let alone the things I did in the past. She might be another one trying to blackmail me. Okay. I'll see what I can do and maybe nod that witness off. I don't think she has enough information to convince the jury. I can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, I'm listening. You think you can help me win this case? Why do you ask? I, I'm, I'm just scared and, and wondering. Just because she's a woman, anything is possible? Well, let's allow the jury to decide. You can't just give up because of what people think. I mean, her lawyer seems to be so hard on me. I can't imagine a fellow man who's supposed to understand. Stay strong and be positive, Mr. Ferdinand. I will do my best to defend you and make sure the law is right on our side, as long as no more surprises. I'll see you in court tomorrow. Regardless of the outcome, know there will be a way out. Are we clear? Yes. Don't speak to anybody. And if you're having any issues or anyone troubling you, do feel free to request for me. Here's my statement. To convict a vendor of rape, some form of non-consensual sexual penetration, however slight, must occur. Each instance of penetration can serve as a count of rape in which of the offender uses. Violence of threats of violence to force a victim into a sexual intercourse. In most states, however, rape can also occur with other forms of duress such as Blackmailing the victim. The punishment for any form of rape is generally a lengthy sentence. The specifications during of which will be based on the laws of the state in addition to a conviction for the defendant. Normally, we'll have to register as a sex offender. My advice to everyone in here and those watching is to avoid what will bring you trouble and to always make sure you know who you're dealing with. When you think it's not safe or feels right, Reach out, reach out for help, or find an escape. 
On that note, I'll leave it up to the jury to deliberate on this case and bring a conclusive agreement while every other person goes to recess. Thank you. Put your right hand up. Do you tell to swear the truth? Swear the truth. Swear. <laughs> to swear the truth. Swear. I said swear. I said swear, man. Well, in my client's living room, did you refuse? To, uh, did you refuse when my client carried you to his room? I thought I already said that. Just because this guy did a ride on that roller coaster. See, she's laughing again. Yeah, because right. <laughs> she knows it's coming like this. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, I'm together. Ride on the roller coaster. 